Hello everyone, my name is Jared Beckwith and today I got my mannequin head here and the reason for that is we're starting a new school semester this year so a lot of new people are going to need to learn how to measure a head for an EEG and there's no one better to teach you to do that than myself, Jared Beckwith. I'm a registered EEG technologist and this is my life guys. So I was thinking about it. I've made a couple videos on measuring before but I was thinking about it and maybe I can give a different perspective in this video and help some people out. So one thing I've noticed is that when you're measuring an adult human head, they're usually all around pretty much the same size. So I was thinking if I give you guys a little cheat, cheat sheet, a little list just to keep in the back of your mind, because I know a lot of people are a little scared about math because it's called the International 1020 System. You're taking a bunch of 10%, 20% of numbers, and math can freak a lot of people out. Don't let it intimidate you guys. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to do EEG, especially with this cheat sheet I'm about to give you guys. So the first step in measuring, you're going to want to go from the nasian, which is at the bridge of the nose, all the way to the inian, which is down here, some little bump in the back of the head. And let's say we got 34 centimeters from nasian to inian, front to back. So for your first measurement from nasian to FPZ, 34 centimeters, you're going to want to take 10%, which is going to give you 3.4. This is 3.4 centimeters away. And then FPZ to FZ here is going to be 20%. So that's going to be 6.8. And then you do another 6.8 from FZ to CZ, which CZ is going to be right in the middle of the head right here. And then CZ to PZ, another 6.8. And then another 6.8 down to OZ. And then if you want to do another 3.4, it'll give you back to the Indian where we took our measurement down there before. So that's from front to back. And now next, you're going to want to go from side side so we're going to want to measure from the preauricular points which is about right there on the ear so essentially from ear to ear and let's say from side to side we got 32 centimeters so for the first measurement up up to here it's going to be 3.2 10 percent this is the right side of the head so we got t4 here to c4 that's going to be 6.4 centimeters. And then we got another 6.4 centimeters going all the way to CZ, C4 to CZ. And then CZ to C3 on the left side of the head, going to be another 6.4 centimeters. And then C3 to T3 is going to be another 6.4 centimeters and then if you want to go back down to the preregular point going to be a 10 percent so only 3.2 centimeters so front to back let's say nasian to enian it's going to be usually about 34 centimeters and let's say side to side ear to ear let's say 32 centimeters so if you guys got those two measurements down now we can move on to the next step which is going to be the headband so as you can see there's some marks going around the head right where a headband would go so what i do is let's say that patient is laying back you start from fpz and then you go let's say the whole measurement around the head is 55 centimeters starting from fpz to fp2 it's going to be 2.75. It's a 5% me measurement from there to there. So remember 2.75 and then around the head, going around the head in a headband, it's just going to be 5.5, which is 10% of 55. You got 5.5 here from FP2 to F8. And then from F8 to T4, we got another 5.5. And then from T4 to T6, another 5.5. And then T6 to O2, all the way in the back of the head, you're going to have another 5.5. And then to get to OZ, 2.75 again. And then once I've done all the right side of the headband, I start back again at the front. 
and I go around to the left side. So FPZ again to FP1, that's going to be 2.75, 5% measurement, and then the rest are going to be 10%. We go from FP1 to F7, 5.5, F7 to T3, 5.5, T3 to T5, another 5.5, and then T5 to O1, 5.5. And then O1 to OZ, if you want to make that measurement, it's going to be 2.75, just to check your work, you know? And then once you've got front to back, you've got side to side, and you've got all the way around with the headband, the next step is you can measure the front horseshoe. So let's make sure the head's straight so we can see what we're looking at. We can start from F7 right here, and you want to go through FZ, and then you want to go all the way down to F8 right there. So it's kind of like a horseshoe in the front from down there. Kind of looks like a horseshoe, but let's say it is 22, for example. So we're going to do 5.5, 5.5, 5.5, and then 5.5. Easy enough. And now we do the back horseshoe. We got T5 right here, going through PZ, and then all the way down to T6. So we do 5.5. There should be a mark here, but, you know, erasable marker, it's getting erased. And then 5.5 here to PZ, and then P4 right here, and then down it's going to be all 5.5s. And then the left parasagittal, which goes from... FP1 through all these marks down to O1, which should be right here, but it's been erased since I've been touching all these, unfortunately. So from there to there, front to all the way back to O1, it's going to be about 24. So let's say here to here is 6. So FP1 to F3 is 6. F3 to C3 is 6. C3 to P3 is 6. And then P3 to O1 is 6. And we do the same thing with the right parasagittal. So we got FP2 to F4, which is 6. And we got F4 to C4, which is 6. And then C4 to P4, which is 6. And then P4 to O2, which is 6. And those final parasagittal measurements, those are good to cross your initial marks and make sure everything is looking perfect. And then you'll have a perfectly measured mannequin head and it will be looking beautiful. Now, I hope that helps you guys out. I'll put my cheat sheet up here so you guys can follow along and just know that most human heads are around the same size. And if you practice these numbers, you'll be more prepared when you go in and have, actually have to do real patience and do the math on the spot if you run into trouble, just just remember these measurements and they, they can save you in a pinch, guys. So thank you all for watching. Make sure you hit the like button if you like this video. I made it sweat into my car for you guys. I love you all. I want to see you succeed. For everyone who made it to the end of the video, if this really helped you out measuring for an EEG, I want to give you guys something else for free that can help you learn how to read the EEG waveforms because I do get comments people asking me, okay, Jared, I got the basics of measuring. Now I want to learn how to read the squiggly lines, the EEG waveforms. Well, I'm going to release a version of my software for free for EEG tech students. And I want you guys to test it out. Let me know what you think. If you send me an email right here, boom, boom, somewhere around here, I'll put you guys on the list. It's coming out soon within the next month. So stay tuned. I love you guys, and I'll see you all on the next video.